Hi and welcome to our design challenge. I'm Karen Gillingham and I run the learning and participation at Garsington Opera. Now our design challenge is always going to come out on a Friday morning and be connected to our 10am Monday motivation session and this week we are looking at Dvorak's opera Rizalka. So we've got an exciting Monday motivation session ahead and this opera, the story of it's a bit like The Little Mermaid, which lots of us know, but the highlights are a mermaid falls in love with a human prince and she wants to live with him in his wonderful castle on land, but she can't because she's got no legs. So she goes to see a witch who says, yep, yeah, I can grant you these things, but you will no longer be immortal and uh, you're gonna lose your voice if you go for this. So Rizalka thinks about it and thinks, do you know what, I really love him. I'm gonna do those things, I'm gonna put up with that. But unfortunately, when she gets onto land and she goes to see the prince in his beautiful castle, he's not interested because she can't talk to him and he doesn't understand why. So unfortunately, she has to go back to the lake and she lives at the bottom of the lake. And the prince does go and see her one last time. And you might be thinking, why do I love this story so much? And the thing for me is the moment Rizalka sings to the moon and the moon can be magical, mysterious. You can talk to the moon whenever you want and she's talking to the moon because it's the only thing that will listen at that moment. And I found my favorite image of the moon. Can you see that there? So it's reflecting off the sea and the scale of it's really huge. So I thought I'd share that with you and do share your favorite images of the moon. So if you tag at Garsington Opera and hashtag Monday Motivation, I'd love to see some of your images of the moon. And I'm really pleased to be able to introduce you to Rhiannon Newman-Brown, who's a fantastic designer who works with us lots. Hi Rhiannon there in Sussex. Hi everyone. Can you, um, have you got a favorite image of the moon just before we set up this design challenge? Oh yes I do. Here's my favorite picture that I found. I hope you can see that nice and clearly. So my picture is quite different to yours, Karen, in that mine has a crescent moon and it's in a very dark night sky and we have got a brilliant squiggle of light reflected in the water. And it's quite an abstract squiggly line and that is what we are going to do today. We're going to make some squiggly lines and make some sense of those in our design challenge. So with Karen's help, I'm going to tell you what we need for this design challenge. We need a piece of paper, any size, any shape. It can be uh, the inside of a cardboard box. It can be a bit of wrapping paper. Whatever you can get your hands on, we need a piece of paper. We need a pencil, like this here pencil. Uh, that'll do. And like I have here, some uh, coloring pencils or felt tips, whatever you've got at hand that will give you uh, some color to play with. Thanks, Karen. So what we're going to do is we are going to think about this particular moment in the Opera Rizalka where our beautiful water sprite or mermaid as she is, is sitting by the waterside and she is singing to the moon. She is hoping and dreaming that she can get the love of the prince and uh, it's a very beautiful moment in this opera and we are playing in the background the music from this moment in the opera and we're going to dial that up a little bit so you can hear and what we're going to do is I want you to take your pencil it's going to be very strange because I'm going to ask you put your pencil on your page and close your eyes and I'm going to talk you through what is in this scene and you're just going to draw it with your eyes shut how you imagine it so hopefully the music is a little bit louder and you can hear it and I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and here we go. So the first thing that is in our scene is the moon. Now I want you to draw it any way you like, whatever shape you think it is. Um, is it a, a, a full moon, a sickle moon, a half moon, however you uh, would like to draw it. Then we're going to draw in the water, uh, whether this is a, a pond or a lake, however you imagine it in your mind. And still with your eyes shut, I want you to draw Rizalka. I want you to draw this mermaid, 
perhaps she's sitting on the edge of the water and maybe she is looking up at the moon and I want you to think about if there's any trees or shrubs or long grasses and I want you to draw all of this keep the pencil on the page nice and quickly try and get down on the page what's in your imagination right how are we doing so open your eyes now I'm going to show hopefully you can see it here in this view but I'm going to show you here here is my here is my pencil drawing so you can see I went for a um, crescent moon and we've got a sort of wiggly uh, bit of water here which I think is more of a river than it is a lake now I'm going to add in a few details here I would like to put some stars in my sky now that I can see this picture and I'm going to draw in the dark sky around my moon which I'd love you to do the same because then that means we can see the moon brightly against the dark sky and a little detail I'm going to add is I want to add in a hazy reflection in the water of my moon. I'm going to jump in there Rihanna because I'd love everyone to share their images where they're at at that point because it's really interesting to see them in their stages so you tag at Garsington Opera and hashtag Monday Motivation take a picture of them and share them with us because that's looking really interesting I'm, I'm looking forward to where it's going so the next thing you can do is add in some color guys with your with your crayons um, I could talk you through how I'm going to do this um, but I think you can probably get the gist I'm going to put some lovely blues into the water I'm going to make my moon a beautiful bright yellow I'm doing this very quickly you could spend the weekend creating a beautiful image of this moment um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture I did before which is here um, and what I also added in I hope you can see that nice and clearly I added in some uh, a kind of pink glow around Rosalka because she's in love and she's singing about love and I thought well it's opera so we can be nice and abstract in opera and so our moon is huge and she is surrounded by a gorgeous glow of love and romance because that's what she's singing about that's so. really really fantastic Rhiannon so for us, when you're uh, drawing your images of Rezalka singing to the moon, you might want to think about what you dream of in terms of what you then say to the moon. So think of your dreams. And if you want to write them on, would that be okay, Rhiannon, if, if there was any text surrounding Yeah, absolutely. Singing? You could write on any little bits of text that you think uh, go with this moment and uh, things that she might be saying would be lovely. And in terms of you designing for opera, and we've worked a lot together over the years in this context, once you've drawn an image like that, what would be the next stage for an opera designer? So an opera is, means a story, doesn't it? Singing, telling a story. So what would be the next stage? Yeah, so often I would start with a really iconic, beautiful moment in an opera and start with a key image like this. And then I would work backwards and I would work forwards from this moment and create a storyboard. So here's an example. And a storyboard is a little bit like a comic strip. So this is the order in which these moments happen. And so I, this was for a different opera, but I would then do a storyboard of which this image that you've created would be part of that storyboard. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that brilliant insight with us, Rianne. And we've really enjoyed working with you this morning. So get your images to us and your comic. If you feel inspired to extend and make a storyboard in the style of a comic, and that storyboard could be around um, something that you dream of, that you're talking to the moon about, and that could be in your storyboard. And we'd really love to use those in our Monday Motivation session. It might be that some of your words, some of your pictures help us transform the room around us into this world of Dvorak's Rizalka. 
if you could tag at Garsington Opera and hashtag Monday Motivation, and then I'll be able to show them live in the session. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Rhiannon. And we will see you at 10 a.m. every Monday. Bye.